Across Ontario, a major push. Public health units are still working to get tens of thousands of children and teens up to date on their routine vaccines post-pandemic. It's a requirement to attend school in the province. The goal is to make sure that our community is safe and we're preventing outbreaks. In Waterloo, Ontario, Public Health sent notices to 32,000 elementary and high school students to ensure they have their shots for diseases like measles, chickenpox and whooping cough. Students have a few months to comply or to submit an exemption. If they don't, they face suspension. We don't want to suspend. We do this process to ensure safety. The region says they believe majority of the students have had their vaccines and parents just need to submit the record. Still, they estimate about 5,000 kids are behind. Their clinics are booking more than 300 students each week. My school said I'll get suspended if I don't. I want to go to school. Six-year-old Akshaj Ravi Rao got one of the notices. My kids' health is primary priority. So two needles today? The first two years of the pandemic, Ontario saw significant declines in vaccinations among various age groups, and they aren't the only ones playing catch-up. Across the country, pandemic school closures impacted student immunization programs, and public health resources shifted to COVID. HPV vaccine coverage um, in the first year of the pandemic plummeted to about 5% of kids getting two doses of the vaccine instead of what we typically see, which is around 70% of kids. In Alberta, vaccines aren't mandatory to attend school, but like many other regions, are making efforts to get coverage rates back to pre-pandemic levels. What we worry about is that coverage gap getting so large that we can't maintain immunity in the population. Back in Waterloo, there were a few tears. How do you feel? I feel happy and sad. But for Akshaj, some relief, it's all done. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.